and welcome to Emma's ESL English. Today I thought I would talk about something that came up in one of my classes. This was a question from a student who lives in Taiwan and he is working in an international company and a lot of his meetings are online. So he's having Zoom meetings, I don't know, Google Meet, something like that. He said that very often he gets into these meetings and there's a few minutes before everybody's in the room together and there's that kind of awkward pause. What do you talk about? Especially when everybody's from different countries. English is the common language, but maybe it's not one everybody's comfortable with. So he was really wondering what can he do in this space to get a little bit of small talk conversation going on. The specific question he asked me was about how was your weekend? Could we just ask how was your weekend? Which absolutely, yes, you can. But I wanted to kind of pad this out a little bit more and go over some various options and the differences between them. Starting at the very beginning, I have no doubt that in schools across the world, there are English teachers who come into the class and say, Hello, students. How are you? And all of the students say, I'm fine, teacher. And you? <laughs> I know this because I used to be one of those teachers. And I definitely did that in most of my classes. And the reason why I shamelessly did that was because actually that's what happens. For the most part, the answer to how are you is I'm fine, thank you. And you? And the reason for that is how are you is not actually a question about how you are. I know, it totally sounds like it's a question about how you are. But in general, if you answer how are you with, oh, do you know, I didn't sleep a wink last night, people will panic. So the best and easiest answer is I'm fine, thank you. And you? I remember the first time I went to America, every single shop I went into, there was a person on the door a welcomer. Their job is to say to every person who comes into the shop, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? And your job as a customer is to say, fine, thank you. And if you're nice, you say, fine, thank you. And you, and that's it. That's the end of the conversation. Talking general conversation. If you're in a supermarket, if you're in the post office, you say, hi, how are you? They say, I'm fine, thank you. And you say, I'm great. Thanks for asking. The end. Good. Perfect. If you want, you can do just like you learned at school. You can go, I'm fine, thank you. I'm great. If you're going into a meeting, usually, especially if you've already met them before, so not for a first time meeting, that's, hello, my name is, nice to meet you. But if you're going into meetings that you have regularly with people, then hi, how are you? I'm great, thanks, how are you? Perfect. How are you has a few variations. We use a lot of linking and squashing our words and how are you is one of those things. So as you can hear already, I'm not saying how are you, I'm squashing it all together, how are you? We also have how's it going, this is the same, how are you, how's it going, and how you doing. How you doing is from Friends, anybody who's watched Friends, Joey, I will put a video in the blog. Joey made this famous. If somebody says that to you, they're feeling very comfortable with you and they're seeing you as a friend. And this is kind of a fun way for them to say, how are you? And you can say, oh, I'm fine, thank you, and you. Or you can say, oh, I'm good, how you doing? So it's totally up to you how you respond. We're moving on from, hi, how are you? Into maybe a Monday morning meeting. Monday morning, everybody's been off for the weekend and they're on their first coffee. This is where how is your weekend comes in. Now we have open-ended questions and closed-ended questions. So an open question, how was your weekend? A closed question, did you have a good weekend? So if you have a closed question, it's very often a did you question, and the answer is gonna be yes or no, that's it. So if you wanna start a conversation, then a closed question is not the best choice because you're really limiting what you can talk about. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes. That's the end of your conversation. <laughs> it depends who you're talking to, but definitely there are people on a Monday morning who haven't had their coffee yet that their only answer is going to be yes and they wish you didn't ask them. Instead, try and look for an open-ended question that you can ask. 
that way you have an opportunity to start an actual conversation. So how was your weekend is a good start. Then you want to add a follow-up question. What did you do over the weekend? Or did you do anything nice over the weekend? Now you can get into, oh, I went to the movies. What movie did you see? Who did you go with? So many questions. What did you do over the weekend is a really nice one if you're in that small talk situation because usually people do stuff that they like over the weekend. So even if they say, dude, I was just so exhausted. I laid out on the sofa and watched Netflix. Perfect. That means they spent the whole weekend watching TV and you might have seen what they were watching too. So what's your next question? What did you watch? Anything good? Even if you haven't seen it, you can talk about, was it good? Should I be watching it? What kind of show is it? What genre is it? What kind of genres do you normally watch? Do you like comedy? What's your favorite Netflix show? So you've got a whole bunch of places you can go after that. If nothing else, you will learn something about them. How are you holding up? This one is for a very specific situation. It sounds like it might be the same as how are you? How was your weekend? How are you doing? But no. How are you holding up suggests that you think that person isn't doing well. This would be specific to a situation where the person is grieving. The person has been unwell. They had COVID. They got fired from their job. You know something not great happened to them. So if you ask, how are you holding up? Make sure there is a context for that question. If you are not ready to discuss whatever you know they're dealing with, don't, for heaven's sake, ask them, how are you holding up? You can just ask them, how are you? You can ask them, what did they do at the weekend? The other thing is, who is this person? Probably you don't want to be asking an acquaintance that you barely know. Australian English is quite different to American or British English. The Australians have a habit of shortening words beyond our recognition, like afternoon to avo. If you are going to Australia, go to Cambly, in the teacher's box, write Australian, find yourself an Australian teacher. In relevance to this conversation, instead of how are you or how are you doing, Australians will ask, how are you going? So it's a little bit different. You can say, how are you? That's okay. But I just want you to be aware that they might not say, how are you to you? Those questions that we talked about before, you can use them for all kinds of situations where you've had a break from seeing someone. So if you've just had a holiday, if, if you haven't spoken to them for three weeks, or if you only speak to each other once a month, you can always ask them, did you do anything nice over the weekend, over the holiday? What have you been up to? Meaning, what have you been doing since I saw you last? And that will give you a whole lot of conversation. This has been Emma's ESL English. I hope it's been useful for you all. Please let me know if you have any questions of your own. If you do have a question, you can email it to Emma's ESL English at gmail.com. Have a great day. Bye.